Hello Sagittarius, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot 2nd Edition, I believe, yep, by Kathy McLeland, I hope I say her name right. There is how you spell it, so if you can get to her website, if you like her stuff, I think that's most important, so you can support her if you like her. Okay, Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. There is a website down over here somewhere. Hayhouse.com. It is a 2002 deck, but who knows? You might find something there. I know Hay House is still in existence. I just don't know if that's the current website. Um, and I know people have told me, but the brain works the way the brain works. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure if it is or not. <laughs> Although if you look in the comments, I'm sure somebody will look it up. You can probably find there. Um, this is Sag. Sagittarius. Yes. Prosperity. Ooh, I like this one. To me, this is better than abundance because prosperity to me is like a repetitive gain where you keep getting bounty after bounty after bounty, harvest after harvest after harvest. Um, like prosperity just keeps on giving and keeps on giving. And I feel like that's what the overall energy for this is. So that you're going towards something that I feel like you've been involved with and there's been a lot of work in it for a while and it's kind of like I feel more restricted lately I, I feel like you're putting a lot of effort in but I feel also more restricted like this has to be done at this time in this way and we got to do okay this has to be this way I do feel more confined um but I also feel like repetitive abundance harvest things keep it just makes it more reliable I, I'm making more I'm getting more out of the situation I'm getting more out of the situation um, am I comfortable with it? I feel like uh, not right away. Not right away, I'm not. Not right away. Over time, I get better with it. So they're giving you this heads up. The Empress card on your side is kind of like... At first, it doesn't feel like it fits for me. Kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. Um, but I feel like the bounty, the prosperity that's coming from this, because it's repetitive, I think it's going to get easier for you. I feel like you get more accustomed to it. Um, this will go better in the long run. There's cycles coming into this, by the way, too. There are going to be some random things that come in with this situation that you're going to handle better than others. So even though there's like there's a lot more structure for some reason, there are going to be little pop-up things that have to be handled, and I feel like that's your forte. Oh, that just popped up. I'll handle it. Oh, but that's it. I'll handle it. I feel like that keeps you alive. It keeps you moving. It's kind of like, all right, this isn't completely boring my pants off. Um, four of swords, six of wands. Six of wands is success, but it's face down, I'm noticing. But it's another success card. you got a lot of success coming in. Uh, you got the Sun card, Prosperity, Joy, this card. Um, what is this last one? Four of Swords. It's going to take you a while to get used to it. I feel like they're trying to not sugarcoat it. Like you're going to go for a, a, a while of kind of like, I don't know about this. But once it starts, it's like, I don't know if it goes into another level. It's almost like, it, like after a while it goes into another level. And that's where these little pop-up things start happening. And that's your, I'm getting like, you can catch that ball, like that fly ball out of nowhere. You're like, got it, got it. Like, and that keeps you like, you know, it's, it's same, 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 random, same, same, random, same, 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 random. It's just, and you catch it. I keep that, I feel like that keeps you going. Um, it's also that mystery to it that you actually... I almost, it's funny, because I think you're going to like it, but I think you're not supposed to like it. It's almost like every now, and thing, every now and then things go wrong and you fix it. And it's like things aren't supposed to go wrong, but let, yet this is what keeps you going. Kind of like, I can handle that, I can deal with it. You're not setting it up that way, by the way. It's not your fault things are going wrong. And it's ironic that it's not ideal that things go wrong, but it's human that things keep going wrong. And you can handle it. You're good with it. Um, it's very weird because it's kind of like, I'm not supposed to be happy that things go wrong. 
but it does keep things lively. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you it keeps you happy because you get to fix it. And it takes off takes out a little bit of the mundane and makes things a little bit more fun, whether it's supposed to or not. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I just keep feeling like you're not supposed to enjoy it, but you do. Maybe it's you're enjoying it because it pulls you out of the norm. I don't know, because I'm almost like want to split hairs about it. Like, what actually happens, you may not be like, oh, that's good. You may be like, oh, it's not. It's not good that that happened, but it breaks you out of the norm. I think you know. I'm, I think I'm over explaining it for those of you, because those it's going to hit with, you're like, I know, just let it go. I can already see it. Like, I already know, let it go. Um, when the stress hits, you pick up the pieces and you fix it. In the environment, the Ten of Wands shows up. But I always say, usually say, Ten of Wands is a version of success. The difference between the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords is this. If you think about going up a really rocky, steep, difficult hill with a bunch of things, and you're just dragging them up this long, long hill, and it's like a lot of work and it's a lot of effort, where it's different, it's like you go up the same hill with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, you go through all that and it's worth it. It works out. You get your success. You get your bounty that's worth your time. The Ten of Swords, you go do all that, go through all that, and then you just fall flat on your face and you get nothing. You're like, I put all the effort in for nothing. That's the Ten of Swords, just to be fair. It's kind of like I wasted and did struggled and all that for nothing. This one, you do all the struggle and all the other good stuff, but you get adequate something out of it. Adequate something out of it. You're creating the joy here because you're picking up the pieces. Um... Okay. This happens to Sagittarius. I don't think this is new, but I feel like they're just kind of like they want to highlight it for whatever it's worth. You're going to have people who complain about how you do things. Yet, when the chips are down, you're the one who fixes things. You pick up those pieces that, you know, you're, you're the quick catch. You, cut, you, do the, you got the quick catch. You do it. So the same thing people complain about is what actually is the reason you're able to pick up the pieces. Like, it's the same attitude. Like, you, you can be a little random at times, but that's literally your benefit, that's your gift. You can do the random things once in a while. You can change quick, five seconds, boom, got it. Um, people are gonna complain about that, yet when the chips are down, that's literally what's gonna, that's your advantage. Um, don't let people make you feel bad about it and don't agree that one of your assets is a detriment like if somebody says you're a little too random or they don't like how you do this or that don't agree with them don't agree with them if you have to acknowledge it acknowledge it but then try i don't know be careful with this one if you can show that it's a actually an asset they may not be anywhere near agreeing with that just don't agree that it's a bad thing. Just don't let them do that to you. And if you have to, just don't agree it's a bad thing. And when the moment comes and you show that it's, and you prove that it's an asset, just make sure you highlight that. Like, see, I have this type of way of doing things. And because I do, I was able to do that. So that worked out. So don't let people make you feel bad about who you are because it's, it's valid. Like, we're not cookie cutter. Like, they do things their way. You do things your way. You're not meant to be like them. Like, if that was the purpose of life, we'd all be the same. We'd also be bored to death, not for nothing. But any hoodoo. I don't know why I'm getting on a soapbox about that, but there you go. The sun card comes in, the wheel of fortune, that wheel of fortune, you you you're a great asset to this situation. A great asset to it. You are a part of that sun card. Without you, no sun card. No sun card. No, and this, in my opinion, is the best card in the deck. I think it's very pretty in this card, in this deck too, by the way. Um, this is that great outcome. This is the best outcome you would have, you could possibly have. If you're not there, boom, no sun card. So, I'm just saying, don't agree when they tell you that some of your attributes are bad because they're not, and make sure they realize, hey, because you have those attributes and you're still here to do things for them, sun card appeared. You're, without you, no sun card. No sun card. No great ending, no great situation, no keeping it afloat. Don't let them wonder. When I'm seeing, this imagination card can go a few different ways. But I'm getting like, don't, don't let them, like, don't let them make up their own reasons or don't let them push it forward their own way. Make sure they realize 
you're the reason for the sun card. It just didn't have to be that's how luck went this time. No, it's because you're there that things went well. They may not like it, but they need to think about it. I also feel like whoever that person is who poo-poos you, yeah, they may be a little butthurt about it. I don't know if we want to use that term, but there we go. It just did. Um, but let them think about that because it's the truth. It's the truth. And they need to kind of just, they don't have to like the way you do things, but they have to see, they should see the value in it at the very least. They don't have to like it. They don't have to do it that way themselves, but they should see like why you're valuable. You are the reason the sun card is here. That's why it's here. And when all is said and done, things will go well because of you. Success. Um, anything else there? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. And thank you for watching.